You're in a hurry or late for work. But when you're driving through a school zone, this woman wants you to remember what happened to her son. To me, it was like yesterday. As Shafonda's children made their way to school, they were hit by another car. Her son Carl was killed. The gentleman driving the car was, was going about 60 miles an hour. Though it happened in a school zone, there weren't even any signs. Now there are, but it's not stopping some drivers. I go by there uh, and cars are still speeding. So how fast are they going? And what else could be done to slow drivers down? We packed up our radar gun and took to the streets. Finding speeders here in Carmel. 32. And in Zionsville, right as students were walking by. 33. Even right here in the school zone where young Carl lost his life. That truck's going fast. 43, 44. 50. Twice the posted speed limit in the school zone near Pike High School. Slowing down is, is very important and no one no one should lose their child to, to speeding, especially in a school zone. And that's exactly why some cities are trying something new. Cameras armed with radar, they take a picture of every speeding car. Speed in a school zone, and you could get a ticket in the mail. Our goal is to reduce speeding. But others say it's just a money grab for cash-strapped states and cities. Seattle was on pace to rack up a million dollars a month in ticket revenues. Many drivers getting tickets for going just slightly faster than the speed limit. It's a complicated deal, and it's technologically a little bit complicated, but it's happening in other states. We can do this. Ed Delaney's part of a bipartisan group of Indiana lawmakers that tried to bring those cameras here but their legislation didn't make it into law. We're gonna have to work some things out. I think it has a good chance next year. Near Carmel Junior High, residents say they need something to help slow people down. I don't think that people, for the most part, pay attention to speed limits. People are constantly flying through the school zone. It is unsafe, and there's kids over there. And as for the idea of cameras watching from above? Well, I mean, it seems to work in the major cities where they have the red light cameras, so I can't imagine it wouldn't work here. If there was cameras up, you know, people would be more aware. More aware of the dangerous and even deadly consequences. It's something Shafonda thinks about every time she looks at her son's old football jersey. Every year on his birthday, my family and I get together, do like a memorial at, right in front of the school entrance, and then we walk down to the school zone sign and say a prayer, hoping and, and praying that that sign is saving the life of someone else. If we save just one life, we, it's been worth it. We are in those school zone areas. It's very important to, to pay attention to your surroundings, to pay attention to your speed, and, and note that, you know, that hopefully another family doesn't have to go through what my family did. An emotional issue for sure. Lawmakers behind this proposal also want to focus on construction work zones and putting cameras there as well. They're hoping they can get the issue passed through the General Assembly next year. I'm Dan Spieler, Fox 59 News.